Served the same, fought the same, died the same. Now their families, all 19, say they deserve the same. That is the argument made tonight by the widow of fallen hotshot Billy Warnicky. Not on your side's Maggie Vespa was there today when Roxy Warnicky threw her hat into this benefits battle ring. That's right, John, and this is a very emotional a time for Roxy. She has a baby on the way, and Tuesday marked what would have been Billy's 26th birthday. But that wraps up her point in this letter reminding Governor Brewer these 19 men were people. They left behind families who now worry how they will survive. In the hours before he headed to Prescott, she thought he was being paranoid. He pulled out his, his medical records, and on the very first page, there were his, his x-rays of his teeth, his dental records, and he said, if anything happens to me, you're going to need these. Roxy Warnicky says her husband knew the risks involved in his job, but she calls the difference between seasonal and full-time benefits $328,000 versus millions in insurance a hole in the system. And they all courageously went there together. None of them fled, and so they all deserve equal treatment. It's not just for, for the Yarnell 19, but it's also for the future while in firefighters. Yesterday, the city of Prescott said the price tag made providing full benefits for all 19 families impossible. <laughs> $50 million over 60 years. But in a letter to Governor Brewer, Warnicky writes, fire lines make no distinction by time card, adding, I am nearly six months pregnant. On the day our baby daughter is born, she will have no health insurance coverage whatsoever. They won't break me. So far, this has been a war waged by fellow hotshot widow Julianne Ashcraft. I have the truth on my side. Though her concerns center on whether her husband was indeed full time. Still, the attention is garnering support. I believe it's important that the state uh, seriously consider its obligations. Earlier this month, Arizona Speaker of the House Andy Tobin told None on Your Side he is drafting legislation to let the state provide equal benefits to all 19 families. Tonight, his staff says support in Phoenix is high, leading up to a vote, likely in January. But that's not soon enough for Roxy Warnicky. In her letter, she asks the governor to call a special session for this bill. Tonight, a response from her office saying it is possible, but, quote, there are numerous legal, policy, and fiscal questions that must be considered. It is critical that policymakers get it right. So, Jen, leaving it pretty open-ended tonight as far as this is concerned. All right. I know we'll be following this. Maggie, thank you so Absolutely. much.